Nintendo. Hello viewers, I am the Bastard Puncher and welcome to my first review. This game is by Nintendo Alpha Dream and it is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for the Game Boy Advance. This game is actually a great game of to begin a wonderful trilogy. This is the only one that's on the Game Boy Advance game. So let's start off with a summarization of the introduction. It turns out to be a normal day when when suddenly the good an ambassador from the Bean Bean Kingdom has arrived to greet the princess. This must be in a newly established kingdom for, for all of us. God knows how long it's been here. So the ambassador brings the princess a gift to represent the Queen Bee. So the princess opens the gift and it turns out to be a trap. And wouldn't you know it, instead of the toads arresting them of doing anything, they get scared, let the witch fulfill their, their task, cast lightning bolt, and ran. Yeah, they ran. They did all that training to protect the princess and ran. What a great amount of money. So the little guy takes up the gas from the princess and she passes out. And the evil witch laughs and then flies away to escape from the castle. And wouldn't you know it, Bowser's not behind this. Wouldn't you know? So a toad fr runs from Toad Town and gets Luigi and tells Luigi that something's up and needs Mario. Of course, Luigi hasn't noticed a thing as he's doing laundry, so he runs into the house and screams for Mario. And sadly enough, Toad runs into Mario doing something... not something you want to mention to your kids, ever. So he bunks into the dresser. Mario looks like, huh? And he jumps on the Toad, hoping to get a one-up. And sadly fails. And then Mario realizes, oh crap, the princess is in trouble again. So he jumps into the thing of laundry and sadly drags Luigi into this mess. <laughs> Luigi's thinking, what a drag. So Bowser apparently has already beaten them there. And then Mario crashes through the door and he stops in place and then Luigi bumps into him. Bowser gets pissed and then thinks that this is a back attack and, and challenges them to a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Mario and him to a one-on-one. -on -one. Mario kicks his butt, and Bowser said that this is no time for fighting, he's actually come here to figure out what's going on. So the Toads explained that the ambassador came, and somehow stole her Princess Peach's voice, and replaced it with a language so foul, that Japan replaced it with explosive vocabulary. What, was um, Michael Bay involved in this or something? So, she keeps exploding the place like crazy, then... And Bowser comes in saying, you know, this isn't going to work out. If I take her back to my castle, she'll ruin it. And he demands Mario to do something, but Mario being a doctor can't do anything. So they figure going to the Beeping Kingdom will be a great way to figure out how to solve this problem. And so Bowser says that they're going to work together, surprise, surprise, and take their boat off to the Bean Bean Kingdom. And they leave immediately, right before the princess decides to blow up the castle. How spiffing. So after just saying goodbye to everyone, Luigi tries to see Mario off and then tells where it stops Mario in place and gets Mario his suitcase. Because, you know, every great hero needs a suitcase for their items, you know, because they usually have giant pockets. Well, Mario has a suitcase. Which is to the item of the game, which you select button. And because he's a nice guy, he decides to give you free monies. He wonders if Luigi is going, if Luigi just says he's going to see him off. I'll spiffing. So then Bowser and Mario finally get on the boat, and then they say they're about to fly off, except for one person. Because, you know, if you see a certain cutscene, Bowser thinks a certain plumber that's green is part of the you know, army of Bowser's. So anyways, you see Luigi running for his life, trying to not get captured, but sadly he gets captured. And now we know why it's called Mario and Luigi, because Luigi is finally involved with his with a game with Mario, besides being another playable character. He's actually your ally. Without Luigi, you're screwed. Trust me. You're going to love Luigi. So anyway, so going through the ship castle, you <laughs> the ship, you bump into this block, 
and you think, oh, okay, this thing's gonna remove the crates for us. But it glitches out and grabs Luigi. Poor buddy, he cannot get a break today. So Luigi gets nice thing, you see him hanging on, his pair bare overalls, just watching through the binoculars. Yeah, that's actually not bad for a night shift. Luigi suddenly catches a glimpse of something coming in, and suddenly the ship gets attacked by a fireball, and Luigi gets freed. Bowser gets up going, what the derp just happened? Well, then suddenly, the main villain shows up, and she reveals herself as the great Cacoletta. Cacoletta, I can't pronounce her name to save my life, people. Forgive me on this one. So they talk for here and there, and then she really realizes what's going on, and she told me she tells them that they have no time to talk and ask her friend Fafa to take care of this. So cutting a bit into the game, let's talk about some of the things. Firstly, the graphics look amazing. Look at the structure and how this is made. And just look, they even got blocks or treasure chests. Now listen to this soundtrack right here. Isn't that just amazing? The music and sound effects are great as well. And now let's show the combat. Firstly, you have Solo and Bros. Solo lets the Mario Brothers perform a single command. Mario gets A button, Luigi gets B button. What you have to do is the moment you land on M, you have to press either A or B to do maximum damage. If you do not do so, you only do minimum damage. And now, the, here enough in the field, you also get bro commands. And those can help you in battle, but sadly, I kind of messed up showing it off here. But with bro commands, the Mario and, bro, Mario and Luigi do a combo together, and you have to press a series of buttons to get it correctly. But as you can see, I missed a B month, so I did minimum damage. So I just finished it off with Luigi. And what's also great is... Unlike most RPGs, you can actually dodge the enemy's attacks. So if you completely mit, so you can actually have battles where you take no damage whatsoever and the enemies take all the damage. Sadly, at the moment, you can only block with jump, but later in the game, you get more alternatives. So here we show off the, the rest of the bro moves. Firstly, you can use the L and R button to show off the level of difficulty of the bro moves. If you have it at 1, it it has a slowdown and shows the commands. Level 2 removes the slowdown with, but still has the buns. And level 3 removes both, but reduces the BP cost. The controls are great as well, and so I give this game a 5 out of 5 with the title of an awesome game. This is truly a great beginning of a trilogy.